Life would be hard enough in Chad's arid landscape without the violence that has forced thousands of people to leave their homes. Even if people in some areas are beginning to return home, they need support to rebuild their lives. ICRC teams in eastern Chad will distribute seeds and food to cover the needs of farming communities until harvests in October and November. An essential component of humanitarian work in a conflict environment is to support initiatives taken by the people themselves. In 2007, for example, the ICRC provided irrigation and farming implements for more than 6,000 people to enable them to maintain vegetable gardens that provide food and income for their families. It has also trained 95 veterinary assistants in the Darsila region and supplied them with medicines and other items for the treatment of cattle. Their aim is to help nearly 5,000 families whose livelihood is based on stock breeding. The ICRC is committed to improving health care facilities in Chad. At the height of the clashes between government forces and opposition groups, the ICRC deployed two surgical teams. They treated the wounded and delivered medical supplies to hospitals that received hundreds of war wounded patients. The ICRC continues to furnish health care facilities with medicines and other essential supplies. Staff at ICRC supported health facilities treat women and children as a priority. By training traditional midwives, we hope to reduce risks and help those working with women and children to recognize when patients need to be referred to health centers. Orthopedic services are being expanded in charge to cope with the demand for artificial limbs among those maimed in fighting or in landmine accidents. Children make up a large proportion of the victims of such accidents. Improving access to clean water is a priority for humanitarian agencies. In the areas of Asunga and Adre, 12 wells have been refurbished by the ICRC since the beginning of the year to provide some 24,000 people with enough water for their daily needs. In 2007, ICRC delegates visited over 4,000 detainees, including many held in connection with the upsurge in violence. The aim, as in other parts of the world, is to assess their conditions of detention and treatment and recommend improvements to the authorities where necessary. Another essential task is carried out in the camps along the border with Sudan that shelter refugees from Darfur. The distribution of Red Cross messages enables families to get back in touch with each other and help separated children to be reunited with their loved ones. There is little prospect of an immediate solution to Chad's political problems and intercommunal strife. It appears humanitarian agencies will have to continue to support the country's population for some time to come. The ICRC, thanks to its contacts with all parties, is one of the few humanitarian organizations which can regularly access all parts of eastern Chad. The ICRC is striving to ensure that all those affected by violence have access to the protection and the humanitarian assistance they need. <laughs>